Um, I think they're going to make their uh, their assets work a lot harder. I think that um, there's an awful lot more um, opportunity for people to spend their disposable income um, in many other ways now. Um, and also with the credit squeeze, people are thinking twice about um, spending money on non-essential items. Yeah, I think uh, undoubtedly with the economic climate that we're in, they're having to justify uh, service charges uh, and therefore they need to um, really be uh, on top of that side of the game uh, and that's becoming quite a challenge for them. I think that the, uh, the competition for the consumer's power is getting stronger and stronger every day. If you look at the, the development of new shopping centres, the growth of the internet, and also where, where people are spending their money as well, so it's uh, certainly uh, more challenging. Yeah, picking up on your point there, our service charge, I don't think that could be um, overestimated. Uh, there's, uh, with, with energy prices going to be doubling in the next five years, um, increasing service charge, um, centre managers have got to try and find ways of um, uh, making their schemes more efficient, maybe using their staff more effectively. I think also these days the issues for centre managers of, of safe and secure environments, especially with the current level of terrorist th threat, it is a major problem. Being able to communicate quickly uh, and resiliently um, with your client base uh, is very important. And, and we all know you know that in these days you know, following uh, following 9/11 and 77 uh, that um, it's not a case of if but when something like a shopping center which is a landmark building will get hit and we all know how very open environments these are and very difficult environments to manage in terms of, of getting them evacuated quickly so the ability to in your mind as a center manager to have a system that you know is strong and robust and will work when it needs to work um, and is fully auditable for anything after the event is, is very important. Yeah, I think picking up on that, um, it's, um, yeah, the centre managers for the very first time have got to do some sort of scenario planning, they've got to develop procedures that involve systems and involve their people and without tools like um, good communication between landlord uh, and, and retailer the only alternative is to have lots of people running around at a time of um, you know, perhaps uh, adversity uh, and um, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it is important to, um, to work out how you're going to manage those potential situations. And when there's a risk opposed to the shopping centre, it's key to get the information out as soon as possible. Yeah. I think the key in this situation with, with TAS is that it, it's, it's built on strong, resilient technology that's been around for a long while now and is used to operating in financial environments where high speed and resilience are very important. So you know that with implementing a system like TAS that um, it is going to work when it needs to work. And clearly in the past, um, systems have not been engineered in that fashion. They've relied on very, very old, old-fashioned technology to deliver their service at a low speed. I think the question also, you know, if you analyse a question about uh, what, what, what have centre managers got to do, you know, what's their challenges? One of the challenges is to create a differentiator and, um, and good communication enables them to do that.